Okay, now we are ready to start building out our templates. There's been a lot leading up to this, but my process and the process I try to teach is all about being organized and methodical and taking our time and not jumping too quickly ahead because we'll make a lot of mistakes and things will get confusing. So we're now ready to build the home page. We have everything set up. We have our sections set up. We have our fields set up. We have some, some data inputted so we can output something to the screen here. And we have our static templates. If you haven't yet grabbed the static templates from the download, please do that. I talked about that earlier in the course and you can use the links alongside the course to go ahead and do that. We're gonna start with the home page. So let's look at what we have here. We need to populate this favorite drinks area and this news area here. Now we're going to do that by grabbing the static template, which is what we're looking at right now. We're going to drop that into our index template and then slowly light it up, as I like to say, sort of bring it to life using dynamic content. And then we're going to break that template up into multiple pieces so we can reuse some of the wrapper components. All right, let's take a look here. So this is my index template here. And right now it just says home page. So we need to put some stuff in there. So we're gonna open up the static templates. So these are the static templates that I downloaded. And what I need to get first is index.html, which is in the root of the project. And this is the whole thing right here. Lots of HTML and static content. I'm just going to select it all and copy it. And then into the home page template, I'll drop it in. So that's index.twig, which is, if I close all these, you can see it's right here in the root of my templates directory. Now, right now this is complete HTML, but we wanna break this up into components and also add in our twig tags. So the first thing we're going to do is grab everything that can be reused. And that would be from nav all the way up to doc type. And I'm just going to take it out. And I'm going to drop it into a new template that I'm going to create. But first I'm gonna create a folder called layouts. And inside of there, I'm going to create a new file called main.twig. This will be our main layout. And then I'm going to paste in that code that I just grabbed out of there. So this is just everything from the doc type down to the closing nav. Kind of everything at the top of the page. So this top black bar here and up is what we're grabbing because all of this is specific and unique to the home page and as, as is all of this down here. So next we're gonna grab the footer here as well. So back in our index template, Let's go down to the HTML tag here and go up and we're just gonna get the footer, find out where that starts right there. And we'll take that out and go back into our main layout, give a little bit of space and drop that in. So now we have sort of the first chunk of code for our template and then the last chunk of code, that header bar and the footer. Now, as it is right now, this really won't work. First of all, because we haven't told our home page to extend it, but also because uh, we have to define what are called blocks. So blocks in Twig allow you to define parts of templates that you can then override when you extend that template and, uh, and use it. So in this case, in between this header section and the footer, that's where the actual page content is going to go. And so here we can define a block using the block keyword, and then we can call it something like main or content or something like that. We'll just call it main, which is just the main content area. And then end block. And in between is blank space because we're not going to override anything, we're going to basically override the blank space, but we're going to inject our page specific content and markup right here. So again, this is our main layout template that has our header and our footer, and we created a block called main, and inside of here is going to go all of the content for whichever page we are viewing at the time. So the next step is to actually use this main layout template on our homepage. 
And we do that with the extends tag, extends. And then inside of quotes, we pass in the path relative to the templates directory to our template that we want to extend. And in this case, it's underscore layouts and then the main template. And we don't have to specify an extension or anything. Craft and Twig will do that for us. We just have to specify the path relative to the templates directory. So underscore layouts and then the name of the template is main. So that is this one right here. And we also then need to define the block because Twig needs to know which blocks are then going to be overridden. We have, there has to be some matching here. So if I say block main like that, and down here at the bottom, I will say end block. And this is the same thing that we did in our layout template, right? We said block main, end block. We defined it here and we defined it here. And now when Twig extends this main template, it's going to take whatever is in between this block main tag, all of this right here, and this end block tag, and it's going to drop it right into here. Okay, so it's gonna take whatever is in that homepage template and override this block with that block because they're called the same thing. Let's take a look at our homepage and see what we have done. So here's the homepage. Up till now, I had just said homepage. Let me reload. And look at that, it worked. It kind of looks like we have a completed site, right? But all of this is still static content. But this means that I have our styles and we have our footer and we have everything in between, which means that our extends tag is working, our blocks are working, and we are now rendering this page with craft and twig. So sometimes a common problem you can have is a mismatch of block names. So let's say here, I called this block content, but on my home page, I called the block main. What would happen then? Let's see, reload. As you can see that we are still rendering that layout template that we're extending because it's, it's valid, it's still being extended, but everything in between here that we had wanted to display is not there. That's because Twig sees a mismatch between those block names. They don't match anymore. We're extending and then we're overriding in our template right here, we're overriding a block called main. But here, there is no block called main, so nothing happens. If we want to, we could just say main, or if we had like multiple blocks, we could also you know, do something like this, where this is a block here called main. And if we did that and reload, it then pops in. You can have multiple blocks on a page. Right now we're just gonna deal with a single main block for our content. So we don't want multiple blocks, we just want one. So we'll change this back to main, reload, and now we are back to where we need to be. Okay, so we have sort of the basic structure set up for this homepage template. And our next step is to now create this dynamic content for our favorite drinks and our latest coffee news.